Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 tutorial, and today I'm going to show you a really cool thing you can do in Zoom to make sure that your students are paying attention when you share your screen. Well, share your screen, we're going to show you something a little bit different. Do something that's going to allow your students to focus on what you're sharing in a session. Let's check it out. So here I am in Zoom and I've logged in uh, a couple of ways here so I can show you the experience from the student's perspective. How this works is, is that oftentimes when we're doing a presentation, we automatically say, share your screen. It covers the whole screen and you're trying to point out certain things that you want students to be able to see, but it's really hard for them to focus because they might be on a Chromebook or a laptop or it's like their own phone, which the screen is going to be really, really tiny and it's, it's going to be really hard for them to focus on the things that you want them to see. So. Here's what you can do inside of Zoom. I want to share my screen. We open it up and we say share our screen and this is under the basic tab and we pick a screen and we, you know, screen one or two or that's the basic tab. But a lot of people don't pay attention to the fact that you can go here to advanced and when I select on advanced, here's the magic option, portion of a screen. And you might be like, well, I need them to see everything, but this is what's really powerful. So I'm going to select portion of a screen. I get this, this window here. So I want to pick what I want to show and I can drag this green window over what I wanted to show. So that means it's going to highlight that area. So I really can drag it and have it show the entire screen. So if I open it up all the way a little bit more, so now it's going to show everything. Let's take a look and see what that looks like for a participant. So now I am sharing my screen with just a portion. If I recalibrate this, I can change the size of that shape. So if we're going to talk about why do we love junk food? So notice I'm now targeted in on that portion of the screen. This comes in handy if you are um, sharing a screen that might have a, an advertisement. So if you're sharing an article, but notice it real time adjusts. So I can focus in and say, this is the article we're talking about. And this even works better than just using a pointer. So I'm going to, let's go ahead and open up this article. And now I'm going to resize it so I can make it fit. And it's doing this in real time for students. So I can see, let's, what do we notice about this, this picture? So I'm really drilling down and having students focus on the content. And what's great is it makes it a lot easier for students to focus. Notice as I scroll up, it's going to target in on that. And I'm not going to show the entire screen. And I'm going to be able to uh, drill down to what I want students to see. So using that sharing your screen option, don't just do the whole screen, but sharing a portion of your screen allows you to very easily have your students focus. We want to do whatever we can to ensure that our students are paying attention and that what we're sharing with them is clear and that it's going to engage them. So using the share a portion of your screen is definitely a way to go. Uh, I hope you found this tip beneficial and that you are excited to try this with your learners to see if it helps to level up your engagement. If you found this video beneficial, go ahead and give it a like and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.